Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. It is so nice to see your beautiful faces here once again. A few weeks ago, I dropped a video about how to clean your Frenchie skin folds and I got a lot of comments, a lot of positive feedback from that video. You guys want to see another uh, guest maintenance video on how to clean your Frenchie's ears. So I got Philly over here. His uh, ears are looking a little bit gnarly right now. So I thought this would be a really good opportunity to make that video for you guys. But before we get started, uh, guys, I just want to let you know that there is a My Possum Frenchie community. The link's down below in the description. And if you guys aren't following us on Instagram, make sure to do so. I'll drop a little slider somewhere along the bottom over here. And yeah, you know what? Let's get right into this video. All right, so you're gonna need a few things before you get started. And one of them is obviously you're gonna need your dog. Um, we got Philly over here. It's about like eight o'clock at night. So he's all kind of tuckered out right now. I got his like attention and everything. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need a bag, obviously to throw dirty stuff in. And then you're gonna need some toilet paper or tissue. Um, and then you're gonna need your cleaning solution. I got this stuff uh, from the vet. Um, there are other cleaning solutions out there that you could get like from the pet store or um, Amazon, but I like to use the stuff that comes directly from the vet. So you're gonna need that. And then Q-tips, everybody, um, you're gonna need some Q-tips. So uh, these are the stuff that I use when I have to clean Fui's, uh ears. And one last thing that you'll need are treats, which is all the way over there, but we got them, we're gonna use them. All right, so what I like to do is before I actually get started is to make sure that Fuli is, uh, you know, relaxed. Um, I kind of like to do this either at the end of the day or at the end of a training session or a play session or something like that, where he's gonna be calm. He's not gonna be like, you know, over energized and trying to get away. So right now um, he's pretty good. He's calm. Um, for all you new pet owners, this is really good to do when your dog is just about to go to sleep because then you can pretty much do anything with your puppy. So the first thing that I like to do is kind of just examine his ears and kind of see what's going on. Um, I can see right now it's pretty dirty. Um, what I'm basically looking for right now is just to see if it, one, if it smells um, and if there's uh, like any yeast. If there is any yeast in it, you're gonna kind of see like some red part or yellow particles and it's gonna look kind of like really gross and um, just kind of like crusty. And that's not really what you want. And also if you give it like a little smell, you'll actually, to have like a really bad odor from the yeast. So uh, Fuli right now obviously does not have it. So that's a really good sign for us. Um, so that's kind of like the first thing that I do before I actually get started on his ear cleaning. All right, so you're probably wondering how often you should be cleaning your dog's ears. And now this is relative um, to your dog's activity uh, with Fuli. Uh, I check up on his ears like once a week. If it needs cleaning, then I clean it. Um, if it doesn't need any cleaning, then I don't clean it. So um, it's also relative to like what kind of dog you have. If it's a dog that likes to be outdoors and rolling around in the grass and in the dirt and all that stuff, you're probably gonna wanna check up on their ears to see if it needs cleaning more often. So just keep that in mind. Give it a nice uh, look over, um, you know, every, I guess week and then see if it does need cleaning. And another thing that I should mention is that actually when you're looking into his, uh, your dog's ear before you start cleaning is check if it's red. If there's any redness, it could be a sign of some kind of if ear infection or yeast, or it could be allergies to some kind of food or something that they're having. So just really make sure that you're uh, paying attention to those uh, signs and, um, yeah, that's, that's basically how I get ready to clean Fuli's ears. So we got this solution over here. And what I'm gonna start off doing is by, um, and he hates this, hopefully this goes well. Come on, Bella. Yeah, I might have to reposition it over here. But I don't like this right now. Sit, sit, good. Okay, 
So I like to give this a little bit of a shake before I actually um, put it into his ear. And he's not being very cooperative. Basically, I'm just gonna do like one big squirt into his ear, and then I'm just gonna massage the base of the ear just like that. And what this solution is gonna do is all that dirt, it's going to uh, loosen it up and it's gonna, you know, this feels really good for him too right now. I don't know if this will really seem like it, but trust me, he's really enjoying this. He's just gonna have clean ears, he's gonna be happy, and um, <laughs> you might want to stand back for this one. <laughs> uh, so I do this for about 20 seconds like that, and then I'm just gonna let him shake it out. Yeah, buddy! Good boy! All right, so next I'm just gonna grab some tissue over here and guys usually I have him facing me at this point so it's a little bit easier to work with but I got my buddy Peter over here working the camera for me oh yeah I shake it out bud and we got the light so that's kind of helping me over here and I'm just gonna stick this in and I basically what I do is like try to like twist it up and come here bud Messed it up, man. <laughs> You're doing a lot better than you did with your skin tone. So basically, I'm just gonna stick this in, twist it, and this is gonna kind of act like an oversized uh, And when you pull it out, What I like to do now, and when you guys are using Q-tips, um, you should only be using Q-tips if you are very comfortable with your dog and you know what you're doing. Um, you don't want to be pushing this down into the, the ear as far down as it could go because you're going to damage your dog's eardrums, and he's not going to like you. Uh, the vet's definitely not going to like you. Um, so. You don't want to do that. And another thing that I should mention about the solution is that you don't want to overdo it because the ear canal of a dog is kind of like a hockey stick. So come here, bud. Don't even think about jumping down. <laughs> Sit. Good. So the ear canal of a dog is like a hockey stick. It kind of looks like this. So at the end over here is where the eardrum lays. So you don't want that fluid to be coming down past that into the eardrum, because if you get that wet, um, it gets damaged, he could, your dog can go deaf, and you don't want to be dealing with those kinds of issues. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to lightly, you know, get in there and get into the crevices um, and get some of that dirt out of there. Um, He's not a total fan of this, but you know, this is a little disgusting thing to do. And really always has one ear that is a little bit more dirty than the other one. So maybe this is the one. So I'm not really getting that much. And I just basically clean. I just look at the, look at the tip of the Q-tip to see how it kind of looks. And that's, I mean, it's not too bad. I think if you got a lot of it out from the solution and from shaking it out, like this ear is not that bad. And I'm pretty happy with that. So like his ear is looking pretty good, you know. So we're going to move on to the next one. It's a lot of work. And what you guys, what you want to do after you do clean their ears, you want to reward them. You want this to be a positive experience for them. You don't want them to be scared of getting their ears clean. Good boy, yes, yes, yes. So he let me clean his ear. So he gets rewarded for that. And now I'm gonna flip him around. So, ugh. sit. If I bring the treats over here, good boy. All right. 
All right, so I'm gonna repeat the same process on his left ear. Um, once again, I'm gonna look in there and see what's going on. Um, it doesn't look too, too bad right now, so uh, I'm gonna give this a little shake again and then squirt a little bit into his ear. Oop, maybe go a little bit on him, give him one big squirt, and then give him a little massage, and then do this for like 15, 20 seconds. Bob's your uncle, and then Sally's your aunt, and then George is your cousin. And he's going to shake his ear off. I'm gonna back up. Pete's gonna back up. Do your thing, bro! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh man, did you get it on you? Oh, he got some on you. <laughs> that does not look appropriate for this channel, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how does that feel? Good? Give me some props, bro. All right, you get, a, you get a little treat. All right, cool. So once again, take a little bit of tissue paper. I know, I know. And then just get in there and get some of that, you know, debris out of there. See, look how dirty this one is. This one is a dirty one. Come on, hey. Come on, man. Let me do, let me. Hey, are you gonna let me clean your ear? Do you want to be running around with dirty ears? Maybe that's why you don't listen sometimes. Because you have too much wax and build up. Let me clean it. Cool? Cool? Alright. Capiche? Alright. Hey. No. Alright. So we're gonna get in here with this ear. Gonna, yeah, this is the dirty one. Maybe that's why you don't want to let me clean because you know it's so dirty. You're a dirty boy. You're a dirty boy. Look at you, but don't, that's okay. We'll clean you off. Look how clean that is now. Can you see that? So. And this, honestly, you know, when I'm not doing a video, this usually, that's, that's about how dirty it is now. This would usually take me about like five, 10 minutes. Um, I'm really trying to get in there right now. And then, you know, I'll give him a little reward because this little trooper just did an amazing job. And I gotta go get you some treats tomorrow. Good boy. Props? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, give it up for my boy Fuli over here. He was such a good participant for this video. And I think he's just a little bit over um, heated right now with this big light shining down on him. So I think we're just gonna wrap up today's video. And one thing that I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video is that this is a Just a Tip Tuesday uh, video. So that's your tip. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the, in the comments about today's video, if it helped you guys out, if you guys enjoyed it and that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night.